Guys, did you know that the 2600K works better with four sticks of RAM instead of two sticks of RAM? Really? Oh my god, this is the greatest discovery known to man. Probably since electricity. Here, let me suck that dick. Guys, did you know that Haswell works faster with four sticks of RAM instead of two sticks of RAM? Oh my god, this is the greatest discovery ever. More than the last time you said this. One eternity later. Guys, did you know that Zen 3 works faster with four sticks of RAM instead of two sticks of RAM? <laughs> Guys, did you know? We're gonna be doing, actually, let me get some notepad here. Quad rank versus dual rank. On uh, 12900K DDR4. Quad rank versus dual rank. Now, the goal of this is when using single rank, versus dual rank if you go back in my og content back in the day i tested all this right on a 10 900k you can get about 10 to 20 percent more fps by just doubling the ranks now when you go triple you so so here's the thing when you go triple rank if frequency can stay the same you get five percent and then quad rank if frequency stays the same you can get another like two to three percent so there's diminishing returns on the rank increase per performance increases right now the thing is when you go past dual rank you lose so much frequency because it's, it's hard on the memory controller that it actually performs worse because you lost too much frequency right that's why dual rank has always been the sweet spot and that's why fucking the large tech tubers always have to rediscover dual rank every year as some kind of secret fps booster right the thing is with zen 3 you can actually get that performance boost with doing quad rank the reason is the memory controller slash fabric maxes out at 3800 anyway you can't go any faster than that so if the memory controller maxes out at 30 3800 anyway going 37 33 quad rank is actually faster does that make sense because the performance boost of the ranks outweighs the the frequency loss zen 3 is a very specific scenario though right so we're gonna try this with the 12 900k quickly right so i've already have a profile set here so check this out we're using 3733 c14 so we did lose a little bit of frequency right so here was what happened with so i was testing this last night right we know alder lake caps out 60 gigabytes per second bandwidth and 45 nanoseconds latency right so i think i got it to 45 it should be at 45 i got it exactly at 45 but we did lose a lot of bandwidth, right? 49. We might have to do the uh, Ida 64 latency here, right? So here's the other thing. Um, if I went to 3,800, it would have been C15. That was stable. If I went to 3,900, well, now it's not doing it if i went to 3900 it would have been c16 so 3733 c14 quad rank was actually the lowest latency out of the bunch right it got me to 45 so yeah look how much bandwidth we lost right 
almost 10 gigabytes a second so i don't know if this will be faster but that's what we're gonna be uh that's what we're gonna be checking. yeah i could use um i could do the um the intel lmlc it's way more consistent this is i does more of a lottery right zen 4 and this i'm gonna make this video coming up uh in a couple of days here zen 4 maxes out at 6000 we already know that from the leaks or whatever right so if you can only get 6000 speed anyway maybe you should get dual rank does it even provide a performance benefit on ddr5 that's a different video i'm going to be doing that video today we're trying it on the 12 900k to see if actually it matters right but in terms of performance you're always better off going dual rank dual rank is the best for performance on all ddr4 platforms all of them you go dual rank right uh okay let's try maybe rift breaker this is quad rank you know what i'm saying yeah you have to wait for raptor lake anyway right um and zen 4 caps out at 6000 anyway so you don't, you don't even need to m die for or a die for those either right so i'm not really sure i don't even think warzone will show a difference to be honest So 196 in the 1% lows. I mean, even if you wanted to have, even if you wanted to have quad rank, it seems like you can be competitive anyway. Like this is 64 gigs of RAM quad rank, 200 in the lows and 260, 270 in the average. You might get what, 10 FPS by going back to dual. Let's test it out. Let's check it out uh 4000 c15 right yeah 4000 c15 let's do it okay let's do tomb raider first you guys know it's uh, again you guys know that our our goal in our community is not to change the entire world it's just to know what the fastest is for us for gamers what's the fastest also what's the fastest at the best price point that's key if you can buy an a pro and some vipers and a 12 600k and you're looking at an entire platform cost of like 400 bucks and you get 500 fps and every the, the milk crate build man what more do you need right oh that's a big fucking drop oh yeah but, but bandwidth that's why it's the actual bandwidth that's big no that that kind of eliminates the entire video right there what was the 20 something 207 yeah that's massive no see you, you see that 60 gigabytes per second is is you need that is key you have to hit this right rift breaker that's massive dude even though the latency is the same that 10 gigas that 10 gigs a second of bandwidth really fucks you in that game right oh, let's try uh rift breaker bench ida sure like the whole thing you mean uh let me catch up here oh beast mode 50 my man beast mode what, what are you waiting for stop, stop this video and go, go buy something whether it be amd or nvidia now it's cream pie my man that's a good name dude it's a good name uh 204 150 this looks the same oh no it doesn't oh no never mind 204 150 yeah that's a difference that's a difference huh so here oh yeah no worry what i was gonna say um about the ddr5 spider-man thing 
the 1440p and the um 4k thing fps is the same and then here's the uh, here's the other argument right what if the 13900k can do 4400 or 4600 in gear one now you're hitting like 72 73 gigabytes a second of bandwidth that might be enough for ray tracing we don't know i'll have to test that in the future but if this ends up happening then b die is still gonna be the way to go isn't that crazy to think about right with the 13900k or the cash we don't know yeah that's what i'm saying right so i'm not down i'm not down with recommending ddr5 even for spider-man i'm not down right oh yeah we'll see that is a 24 percent bandwidth difference between uh between uh 3733 and 4000 you know 24 percent bandwidth so it's almost a linear so it's almost like tomb raider scaled linearly with that bandwidth loss right from 50 to 60. all right that's huge but Tomb Raider is kind of a special case, right? Um, 204 divided by the 188, 9%. And 14%. I yeah, I would avoid quad rank then, right? Maybe wait for the Raptor Lake IMC, if anything. Uh, so 13, 14 plus 9 divided by 2, 11.5%. Let's check Warzone no i think warzone is pretty well optimized man did you see what wars with the frames that i was getting in warzone with a radeon 7 and a titan volta those are workstation cards man Th those those graphics cards have no business getting fucking 250 fps in warzone and they're like six years old dude like that's ridiculous man warzone uses everything dude i don't know man i don't i don't i don't view this game as unoptimized i i see that i would say that the engine is janky like getting stuck on twigs and shit that's janky but in terms of the of the engine utilizing the hardware on a low level it's very fucking optimized dude how this is the only game that actually scaled with vega and volta it's super weird it's the only game that it's literally the only game that did i i, I totally missed that fucking message dude Come on, man. Like, what? Like, give me a fucking break. Give me this shit. I have no audio. Oh my god, dude. Oh my the sensitivity is so fucked. Oh <laughs> whatever. God damn. Alright, well what what the hell was it here? Jesus Christ, dude. Quad rank and quad rank no bueno. No, I just don't have my audio routed from this PC to my headphones. That's all. Uh right yeah oh uh, well it's not like it's not like you can't be competitive with 64 gigs but you do get a boost though right you do get the boost going back to dual rank and getting that bandwidth 289 but i buy 273 six percent and then a, oh what 11 percent so 17 percent divided by two is 8.5 and not as much in warzone but it's still there it's almost like a 10 percent boost right yeah it's still there anyway that's pretty much it then dual rank 4000 c15 and then this is quad rank 
C14. Sure. All right. Well, there's the results for that. Uh, let me catch you up here. Now, the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing this exact same testing on DDR5 to see if it's uh, as true. Except it'll be single rank and dual rank, not dual and quad. The actual performance boost isn't the point. It's more like, okay, stick with dual rank, right? Unless you are a workstation guy, right? And then Raptor Lake comes with fucking uh, 24 cores. It might be worth the hit if you're a workstation guy, right? All right. Yeah, let's call it there, boys. That's that's some good content for YouTube. All right. Well, so at the end of the day, stick with dual rank. Unless you need 64 gigs of RAM for some reason. But yeah, we're still memory controller limited for, for quad rank. Anyway, boys. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you on Saturday. Anyway, regardless. See you in the Discord later. And uh, stay tuned for the intro of the next video that I do. You're not going to want to miss it. All right, boys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to getting clickbait and all that shit.